What's up, y'all? Back again with another quick one. Show you guys how to make chimichurri. What is chimichurri? Well, if you've been to a Brazilian steakhouse before, you probably know or have tasted chimichurri before. It's basically a condiment. You can put it on anything, but what it's really very good on is grilled meats, and that's what we're gonna do today in this video. So let's get right into this, all right? Here's what we're gonna need. We're gonna need some fresh cilantro, fresh parsley, lots of garlic cloves, I would say about a handful, salt, pepper, red wine vinegar, and some extra virgin olive oil. All right, let's chop up those garlic cloves and put them in a jar or a glass whenever you get them all chopped up. I got a jar right here, I'm gonna put them in there. Handful of cilantro, chop it up real good. Handful of parsley, chop it up real good. Put it into your jar. All right, now we're gonna take that extra virgin olive oil and fill it up right on top, all the way about halfway. Salt. pepper take that red wine vinegar and I'm gonna do probably about a four or five count one two three four five that's good enough right there shake that up we're gonna mix it up just to let you know you can also marinate with this stuff too so if you want to you know marinate your steak or, or your pork chops whatever go ahead and marinate with this work it works great as a marinade but today i'm just going to be basting all right i got some nice looking beef ribs right here and i got some tenderized skirt steak i also got some pork chops i'll put those on in a little bit but basically what i'm going to do right here is uh my grill here is very hot and i want to sear each side both of the ribs and of the skirt steak once i have one side sear i'm going to turn it over and then baste with my chimichurri one thing you need to know is uh once that oil hits the fire it will it will flare up so you might want to keep uh some water handy nearby just to that way your your meat doesn't catch on fire but it will add some nice char and it will add some nice flavor too as well so that fire is actually a pretty good thing And once I've basted all sides of my uh, meat there, I'm gonna put put it up on the upper rack away from the heat. All right, now it's time for these pork chops that I got. Look at these, man. These are real big and fat right here. I think these are about two inch cut. So I'm gonna put those on the grill and get one side going until it's nice and seared. After about two minutes on one side, I'm going to flip them and then I'm going to baste that side with the chimichurri. I'm going to baste all of this on one side and then I'm going to flip them over and baste the other side once they get a nice sear going. You're really gonna like the uh, flavor of this chimichurri. It's got it's it's pure fresh herbs, fresh garlic. Everything is fresh. Then you got the little tanginess, the little sourness kick of the uh, red wine vinegar. They really go well together once you mix them up. Baste them a little bit more. Okay, I got my pork chops seared up on both sides. I'm gonna put them on top rack away from the high heat. Check that out, this is starting to look good, especially those pork chops. Those pork chops look real good. Nice color, nice char. And that chimichurri on top, you can see the green and the garlic. It's gonna be tasty, man, it's gonna be tasty. Okay, I'm gonna close the lid and let them uh, finish cooking. Play a little Clash of Clans while I wait. been about 10 minutes since I closed the lid and I'm gonna check it I don't know what you think man this looks pretty good to me 
I still got some chimichurri left over for uh, when I pull these off the grill. Put some more chimichurri on there, man. You don't want to waste it. Like I said, it's like a condiment, like ketchup or whatever, but only fresh tasting, garlic tasting. You're going to like this one, man. I guarantee you're going to want to try this at the next barbecue you have. That's about it right here. Thank you for checking out this video. Hit me up with a like. Hit me up with a subscribe. Drop me a comment if needed. Stay tuned for the next video. Who knows what I'm going to cook up, man. Don't love it till you try it. All right, y'all? Peace.